I keep trying to find like the perfect angle, the perfect day or outfit or perfect way that I do his hair. I've never been so um like I don't know how to explain it like where I feel on edge about like sharing um or trying to get it perfect. I don't know why with him that's how I feel. But anyway guys welcome welcome back to my channel. Um this is baby Zenday and he is going to get his other outfit back on because I really enjoyed it on him. I sprayed it with some baby powder scent. So is this little outfit. So he smells like such a baby, baby, baby. Um, but I really liked him in the fall colors. So I am going to get him ready for a chat. Um, so we're going to do a sit and chat in a minute. So I wanted to put him back in his, um, little fall outfit. I really liked him in it. Um, if I'm going to have him in clothes, I like him in like cozy stuff. He does do well with the blue, the pale blue. Um, not sure if it's what we call his color, but it looks good again uh, against his skin. Um, so. So, um, this little one is very special to me. <laughs> um, so I have a couple babies in my collection that I've painted myself. Well, most of my babies in my collection I painted myself, but as far as silicone, um, all my silicone babies, except for one that I don't share is uh painted by me and um but this year i've had a lot of them that are painted but none of them i have completed fully as far as like rooting their hair so they're like either they just have like little edges done or they don't have any hair at all because I haven't had a chance to take the time to root for myself. Um, usually when I'm rooting, it's a baby that's, you know, about to be sold or they have a mommy. So it's like a custom or private order. So, but this baby, I want it to be fully completed. Um... So this is the only baby that I'll have in my collection for this entire year that silicone that is painted and rooted um, by me, um, which is very <laughs> rare. And usually, like I said, when I have one that I do root, they usually are sold. This one is a forever baby baby hold on this one is a forever baby for me so I will at least have one <laughs> for, for a while until I get the others done let's see we might as well try to take this uh, I don't know we'll see let's see Try not to make a mess. Um, once I get him dressed, um, I noticed that he could put his arms up more when he wasn't painted. Uh, maybe the couple, the multiple layers of the silicone. Um, like thickening, I don't know, 
so he, he's not as it doesn't go up as um, and stay like it did when he was blank but I think if he had full armatures then it would but he has elbow armatures he only has elbow armatures so so he does it say I don't keep him up mama so and he has his little the little umbilical uh, stump that is so I wanted to give him a very 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 peaches and cream look however he does have quite a bit of details he does have veining and mottling and all that stuff um, I don't think it shows up as well on camera but or on video but we will see because a lot of times what I see in the camera while I'm recording it plays back very differently when I look at it off camera when once it's uploaded um and oh and one one of the things about this baby is he has very long little petite feet and I love it uh, my grandbaby had very long feet when he was born um, it's funny because I, I just that was one of the things I just always kept saying oh my gosh his feet are so long his feet are so long and um, it was so funny because it was like his feet were, were were so long for him to be so skinny but then he it changed he got really chubby at one point and then he um so now I feel like his feet are not much bigger than what they were when he were a newborn but they're wider you know fatter type thing and um now that he's walking and running around he's like slimming down now so I'm thinking you know his um family dynamics is based off if I base it off of family dy dynamics or genes or whatever I'm assuming he's going to be a little string bean later um because his mom is very thin and his daddy is very thin so I'm assuming that he will probably just end up being very thin but anyway Zenda here. Zenda, Zenda, Zenda. Is. So. I. Didn't follow exactly to my grandson's photos, but I. Did. Um, use them as inspiration for a lot of his painting. My grandson was very, very fair. Go figure, when he was born. Um, as most, uh, most black babies are very fair um, when they're born, very light skinned when they're born, first born. Um, but, um, some get darker as they get older and some stay lighter and but for <laughs> for uh, Bryson he was very very fair he was lighter than my my kids were and for a longer period of time but he does have his color now it's so beautiful but um yeah so a couple things about this baby that people have 
seem to want to know is size. This baby is very much newborn. Very, very newborn. Zende, Zende, Zende. Um, but he is not preemie. <laughs> he's, he's not preemie at all. Um, and this is actually a zero to three outfit. But again, I think newborn is the perfect size. I would not buy zero to three. I just happened to have this and it seemed like it was cut a little smaller than the typical zero to three month clothes nowadays. So I tried it on him thinking it was going to be way, way too big. And then to my surprise, it actually fit him perfect in my opinion. Um, because when babies are newborn and infants, I think the first three months, or at least the first two months, they never fit their clothes like perfectly. Um, so these are his hands. I just, I like babies with hand mitts on, but his hands are done. I, li I like the, it just gives them to me even a more newborn look. So I usually like to so so that is Zende and of course I always put them in a little a little baby pose but I won't do that to him today or maybe I will <laughs> his hair he's got like bed hair for sure let's see Gotta get it right, gotta get it right. <laughs> so. You know, they always push their little bum bums out. I didn't give him a prick, a heel prick, either, which is different. <laughs> Let me see what you guys can see. Oh. So yeah, yeah, and it's it's dark out, so the coloring and stuff may be a little different. This is him. Oh. You see my mess over there. So, yeah, that's my guy. So, I'm really, really excited. He is definitely a dream baby for me because I've been wanting the perfect newborn baby, the perfect newborn size. And so I just really, really love my Zende. All right, guys. I will see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.